Hold on, let me wipe the lens real quick. I'm John, and this is Danny, and this is our home, Taterboat. We've been living on the RV for about a year now, and have recently acquired some very precious cargo. Meet Abraham. So subscribe and follow along to watch it all go down as we move around from town to town. Today we're leaving Ocala and we're heading down south to Lake Okeechobee for a couple days. Uh, on the way there though, we're going to stop by at a place called Blue Springs. It's uh, known for a gathering place of manatees in the winter when the Atlantic waters get a little too cold. Uh, there were 190 manatees there yesterday, so the guy said if we get there before noon, it'll be cold Hello. enough to catch some manatees. <laughs> She's really excited to see manatees. This RV park was different than the Charleston KOA in that the residents here were more, well, residents. Most people here lived full time, or at least were snowbirds, and because of this, it had a less transient and more homey feel, making it a perfectly quaint stop for a Thanksgiving holiday. Now, on to see some sea cows. Where are we? Do you remember the name? Uh, Blue Springs National or State Park. State Park. Abraham's first state park. Pretty We're cool. We're gonna see 200 manatees today. 195 to be exact based off yesterday's tally. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is the river though. We gotta go to the lagoon.
195 manatees, more like five or six. I think I'm gonna take that clamp off. Yeah. It's getting in my way. But nonetheless, it made for a beautiful stop. And the hot dogs were no joke. Back on our original route, we have only an hour on the crumbling roads of Interstate 4 through Orlando till our next destination. Sketchy driving. These are literally the worst roads we've been on. Yeah, Orlando. We can do better. This is home for the next two days. Slide out not working? I'll fix that while we're here. We're waiting in the Yep, yeah, so we'll be there for the winter. Just don't want to stand in ant piles. Who does? <laughs> it's been seven days on the road since leaving the eastern shore of Maryland and starting our way south to Florida. This is our first stop where there really isn't anything that needs to be fixed or figured out. In fact, we even feel a slight sense of confidence traveling on Taterbug now. Not only driving, but also in things like getting loose items ready for the road and setting up all of the systems once we pull into a stop. A feeling of being unplugged hung in the air that evening as well. Whether it's the sheer amount of concentration required to road trip on an RV, or all the nature we've been surrounding yourself with lately, by this time, we have both forgotten about most of the outside world, and we're truly living in our own little familial bliss. Door, please. Key, please. <laughs> Lamp, please. Mm. Is there a place with sun all year round And pina coladas With pretty faces and sand on the ground I want to stop this ongoing train Before I lose my mind and go insane I don't want to sleep every night I want a lot of spark in the dark I don't want to say I'm okay Living the same every day Come run beside me, let's take off Let's leave this place For another place oh. Maybe I'll win Difference. It's hard at this speed to see anything. Just tell me what you need, and I'll listen. I'll listen. When we get there, we'll throw a big feast with pina colada.
What's up everyone? We are here in Lake Alfred, Florida. It's a beautiful little spot about an hour and a half inland from the Gulf Coast, South Florida. I'm on my way right here to this beautiful dock they've were nice enough to park us in front of. A little bit of a prickly staff some gave us some gruff about the the age of our of our rig. And then we pull in and there's other rigs our age, so it's like, what's the beef? <laughs> this uh, <clears throat> this whole trip here that we've been doing with the RV has been kind of a trial trip because it's our first time really kind of hitting the road and stretching our legs. You know, learn etiquette. Everything from like pulling in and leaving your headlights on and getting flashed by the dude because like, you know, I'm blind out his campsite. Like, just t tiny stuff like that we've been learning. And then big stuff. We've had a couple big things go down. We've had... Um, our fuel filter, I should have changed that before we left, and we lost power at a pretty critical time, and we barely made it up a steep bridge in Charleston. Those dudes just stuck the land. Hold on, let me wipe the lens real quick. But my God, um, I'm just, we're, we're pulling to Sarasota tomorrow, and I'm feeling optimistic about how all this went down. next episode as we settle into our little piece of parking lot here in the Sunshine State. And as John battles an overgrown Phoenix Palm that ultimately leads to a long trip to the ER. If you're about it, hit the bell to know when our next episode drops and we'll be sure to keep the videos coming. Until next time. Uh, uh,